Hi everybody, this is Dr. David. I'm going to show you advanced waiting room features. So when you're in Zoom and you start your conference or your presentation and you've got people in the waiting area, then when you activate the participant menu, you'll see them there waiting. Um, so if they are there waiting, you can go ahead and admit them one at a time, or you could just admit them all at the same time. So, all right, time's ready. Uh, let's let the students in. Okay, now, what I have done here is I have logged in three times. Um, I'm logged in on my computer and also on two separate devices. Um, once as the host uh, and twice as uh, guests or participants. In other videos, I show you how to maybe make one of these people a co-host or something. But anyway, those are my people in here. Now, um, what I find very useful is to go into your settings on Zoom and configure it so that your waiting room is always on. And then customize your waiting room like this so that when they're waiting, they actually see this custom screen, custom message. I will start the meeting soon. You're in the right place. You can put your own icon. Uh, have your own handle, then let them all in, uh, screen disappears, and we're all together. Um, and then when you're in the meeting, what you can do is go over to the controls in the participant panel, and you can actually turn this off. So uh, anybody else who joins the waiting room would just automatically be admitted. Or you can have it off to begin with, and then uh, you know, once the deadline occurs, if you just want additional students to sit there and wait because they're late or something, then you could uh, turn the waiting room on. So you could, have, you could turn it on or off. Um, if I'm having a meeting with somebody and I don't want somebody, another person just popping in who has the ID, I turn on the waiting room. If I don't mind uh, people just popping in, I turn off the waiting room. So you have total control of that during your meeting. And you could just put everybody in and take them out of the waiting room uh, uh, during the course of the meeting. So it works just like that. So I hope that was really helpful to you. Oh, one more thing is actually, while they're in the conference, you could send them back to the waiting room. So instead of uh, totally removing them, you could just say, okay, uh, so-and-so, I, 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 I need to talk to somebody else about something. So, so I'm going to ask you to wait in the waiting area. All right. That person's in the waiting area. Now I'm just talking with this other person here. Or I could send everybody to the waiting room and then again um, just admit them all at one time. So that's a really good way of using crowd control um, and ensuring that maybe some of your conversations are private or, or whatever you want to do with that. Okay, excellent. I hope that was very helpful to you and look forward to teaching you more.